I swear, anytime I think I have an opportunity to get some ranching done, Mother Nature's turns and makes my plan soggy. Damn it! Alright. Try that again. So. Yep. Damn it. There where my toe is. I don't know if you guys can actually see. But that is the bend in the beam. So I'm hoping. I think I'm going to try and take those out of the top first. And then put them in the bottom of the other beam. So. Let's see what happens. Alright. So they say hindsight is twenty twenty. I knew the beam... Let me back you guys out here. Come on. I knew the beam was bent on the right hand side. And so... If I'd been thinking ahead, I would have tried to pull the spring pack out of the left hand side. I did not. Instead it got stuck. These ones... Those ones, excuse me, broken right off of the bat. So I know I couldn't use those ones. These ones I thought I had a chance with. Turns out, not so much. Broken. Let's see if I can show you. You see any of those guys down in there? Yeah, trust me. They're broken because there's supposed to be a whole lot more to the spring pack. The frustrating thing was I did not find very many videos on YouTube on how to remove those from the beam. So what I did was I took, where'd he go? The torsion bar right there. I took a grub screw and I screwed it into the spring pack here and used the torsion bar and beat on it with my mallet because that one's broken anyways. It's no good so I figured I could use it to pull the spring pack out and I say I got 70-30. They're 70%. The other 30 is still in there. so. Just a quick video, if you know it's bent on one side, stop, think, pull it out the opposite side. I probably would have, probably would have been able to use that, but uh, looks like I'm in the market for some new torsion springs for the front beam. Ah, well, live and learn. Until the next one, take it easy, guys. And thanks for watching. All right, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this. Just because I didn't personally find very much information on what I was looking for as far as the spring was concerned. And as far as getting it out of there. Now this is made of multiple pieces of metal. So, this beam is bent, so the reason why I had to take it apart, I'm using the piece off pieces off of this one to rebuild another one. But because the beam was bent, I should have pulled that way. I didn't. I should have left one of these guys connected. Because what I did was I took that grub screw slid that on this side lined up the grub screw with that guy right there and then proceeded to beat massage however you want to put it just like that And that's the part that came out that wasn't broken. So, 
If your beam's bent, you know where it's bent. Pull it away from the bend, not through the bend. Duh. Anybody who knows anything knows that. What the hell do I know? I know I got bro broken torsion springs. So, live and learn. Live and learn. And then forget. Because I'll forget. And I'll do it the wrong way again. Because that's just the way I do things. But thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Also, the grub screw is an 8. You'll have to knock out all the dirt and clean it so that your Allen fits in there. And then that nut is 19 millimeter. So you have to clean them because, you know, this one was on a Baja. But it's a number eight metric Allen wrench and a number 19 millimeter socket. Loosen the nut, then loosen the grub. It'll come right out.